Hi, and welcome to this third uh, video of Introduction to Statistics. Um, so now we're going to see um, actually what is really what we call a statistic versus what we've seen before, the definition of the field of statistics. In the previous video, um, we've introduced some key concepts and vocabulary. So we've seen what a population is, we've seen that we're observing a sample, we've seen that on the sample we're observing variables. These variables can be either characters or numeric. And for every unit of the sample we are making an observation. Now. We're, we're going to define a very important concept that's a parameter. A parameter is a numerical characteristic of population defined for each variable. So remember, a variable could be age, for example. And so the parameter will be the average age. Um, but the variable can also be whether someone agrees or not. And so the parameter could be the percentage of people who agree. So what's a statistic? A statistic is a numerical function of sample used to estimate population parameter. So what that means is if the parameter, for example, is the average age of the population, Remember, of the population, that's very important. Remember the difference between population and sample. So what you want to know is the average age of the population. But you cannot go out and ask every unit of the population what his age is and make the exact calculation of the average age. And that's what statistics is about, right? You cannot go out and ask every single unit of the population. Instead, you need to rely only on the data from the sample, right? And that's really the heart of statistics is you want to know something on the population. Well, all you got is the sample. And you need to figure out how to use the sample to draw conclusions and make decisions on the population. So the statistic is something you do on the data that you gather gathered from the sample to estimate, it's a very important word, the population parameter. So you're going to collect the age of the people of the sample, right? And you're going to make the average, for example, and that's going to be a statistic. And you're going to say, well, in the sample, I have an average of age of, let's say, 25. So I think that's an estimate of the average age of the population. And that's the whole, you know, that's statistics summarized. I mean, it's, it can be a lot more complex, but that's the principle. So now... The key question, and remember what we've what we've seen on the definition of of, uh, of the meter in the first video, is how precise. What's the what's you know how can we define the error that we're making? How precise are we? And that's the spread of an estimator of a parameter. And how accurate? So this probably sounds. A bit like the same how precise and how accurate how close the estimator is true is true value which is the opposite of the bias you know the more accurate we are the less bias we are and, and, and vice versa but so we're going to see why those two things are different so let's imagine that we're trying to hit a target and the target here is the real average age of the population and the sample is, you know, like darts that we're 
for throwing, and we're hoping that we, when we make an average of the darts, uh, then we're close to the center of the uh, of, um, of the target. So this is accurate and precise. But you know, let's see what not a not precise is. Well, this is accurate because if you average out the darts, you know, the positions of the darts, you're going to be in the center. So you're going to have a pretty good, pretty accurate estimate of the average age but you can see that this is not very precise because you can be all over the place right so it's an accurate estimate but it's not a precise estimate now you can have the opposite you can have something that's very precise because as you see the darts are all in one place but it's it's far out right from the actual value so going to be, wow, I have uh, in this population, uh, apparently, a lot of people are between like around 27. So it's pretty precise. But in reality, you know, the real age is 25. So you're not accurate, but you're precise. And of course, this is not accurate, not precise. So we, we can see that what we want, the, the ideal thing is something that's accurate and precise because it's right on the actual target and you can have confidence because you know that it's pretty precise right so the parameter is what we're trying to estimate on the population because we're not interested in every single age of every person in the population right we want to know the average a statistic is what we actually use to estimate using the data from the sample and precision and accuracy is the way we measure the error that we're doing by using the statistic okay in the next video we'll get into um, the specifics of how you actually design a statistical study so stay tuned for the next video.